be that young rapping dude Might this trap with you Coming with the thunder baby What's up guys it is your boy DD Kills And today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered So the points that we're going to be talking about is What we plan to expect the improvements they may do from the previous ones on the old gen of course the things that we don't want to happen and the things we might want to see happen as well as the improvements as I stated so let's get this started so Call of Duty 4 is definitely going to be as a legacy edition with the infinite warfare package and it might be priced about 75 pounds or I think it is basically 70 dollars in America or so I'm expecting 4th of November and this is probably one of the biggest things Call of Duty have done in such a long time. So the things that we will see, well the things that we want to see happen is obviously we want the better graphics with the new gen consoles and to see how far let's say the consoles could generate its amazing HD quality and the power it could give us. And we're planning to see a buff on the graphics. Um, maybe you could tweak some of the gun sounds because they weren't all the best with certain guns. But that's something they probably won't do because it's not really a major factor in the game. Um, what else? You can... They'll probably... Um, I don't think they'll add any DLCs only because they're focusing more on Infinite Warfare and they're doing the Call of Duty 4 as a reinsurance or an insurance type of policy. What I mean is they probably know that Infinite Warfare won't sell as much because people don't like all these futuristic exos and thrusters, they just want boots on the ground. So they've done it as a special edition and they're not selling COD 4 separately only because they want everyone to buy Infinite Warfare that comes with the package so then it makes their sales look good when realistically they'll just pre-order the Infinite Warfare just so they could play COD 4. So they're doing that so they don't become bankrupt and they can actually still make future Call of Duties by making sure COD 4 is their reinsurance basically. So the other thing that we probably as consumers may want to see is you could Infinity War could possibly, maybe, depending on what the fans want, they could do a poll and see if we want any new guns added or they should do a list of guns that they think that should be added such as maybe from Modern Warfare 2 you can have the famous UMP45 which was my favourite or you can have um, from Modern Warfare 3 the MSR Sniper which was really good as well. So there's a few different factors and variants they could do in that sense but if I'm honest I don't think they'll also do that they probably want to stick to the game originally um, another improvement that I would want to see well that everyone would 100% want to see is to get rid of the bugs and the hackers especially and the glitches that are in the game so if, if I can remember right there was a glitch with the M4A3. If you use a, was it the ACOG, uh, the ACOG sight on the sniper, then any way you hit them is a one hit kill, regardless where you hit them. And obviously, if you don't put the ACOG scope and you hit them, let's say on the legs, it's a, probably a hit marker, depending if they've already been hit or not. So that's one improvement that I would want to see is to sort that out because when Cold War comes back. All I'm saying is Sniper's Paradise galore. Literally, everyone's going to be quickscoping again. I'll, I'll quickscope myself because I haven't done it since Black Ops 2, in fact, because of the scope site. I haven't been a big fan of it. And that's one issue that Infinity Ward should sort out because I'm telling you right now, I'll be so peed off if that happened to me. Someone snaps me on the leg with an ACOG, bang, I'm dead. That would really frustrate me so bad. And, um,. Have things that we probably don't want to see happen but as a joke it might happen never know but it could be a benefit is maybe adding supply drops before you guys get 
all annoyed at that. When I mean supply drops, I mean put different camos in there and not in a way that you have to pay to earn the supply drops. Maybe similar to crypto keys or they should do it so for a certain amount of games that you play, so maybe if you play uh, let's say 10 games in one day for example, then you get uh, I don't know, like two supply drops. So for every 10 games you play on Call of Duty 4, you get two supply drops. And the supply drops that you get obviously has random stuff in there, but there's no like premium one or basic or advanced. They're, they're all the same. They just have randomized stuff in there. So what I would like to see in that is obviously the different camos, but what would be a great benefit is if that for a limited time or if they as make it as a rare, they add a double XP for the COD 4. Because if I can remember right, Call of Duty 4 had no double XP weekend. Black Ops 3 has had so so many, it is a joke. They've I think they had um, two double XP weekends within three weeks one time. Because they actually want us to that they're doing that so they have more people playing the game so the server gets overloaded etc etc so for them to put double xp in supply drops in cod 4 would be quite fun and it'll make the game more interesting but maybe if they do double xp weekends as well that would be a great benefit also and um another thing about cod 4 is that everyone's just wondering what maps there is going to be from what I know and been researching, they're only going to include 10 multiplayer maps. So that is a few short of the actual full game maps that you normally get. But the maps I'm hoping that should be there is. I, I need shipment. I'm sorry, I just need shipment. I think it's called shipment or shipwreck, I can't remember. But that map was just amazing, literally. If you wanted to show off your skills in a 1v1, then you just do amazing. Like, that's just the map that you need to go to, it's just to quick spit their ass. Literally, any beef, you go there, sorted. Same with Warfare 2, Rust. So, every game has that small map where you could just go around and sort your little fight out with obviously the sniper. But, saying that, I'm not really satisfied that they're gonna. Let's say keep that there. Wow, this guy, how did we not kill him? I don't even know. He just walked past him and I had to pick up the pieces. But um, with Quad 4 coming out, that is a really good thing for us customers and consumers of the Call of Duty franchise. And what I'm quite concerned about is when the game does come out, obviously everyone's going to be playing it. That's, that's without a doubt. I can 100% tell you. Everyone will be playing that game, it's just top notch, top notch. And, well, my service is going ham. <laughs> um, maybe they should, uh, I'm not sure, um, add another server or make it so the server doesn't get overloaded. Like, with Black Ops 3, you do new, when there's double XP and new town, that work camper, then um, it's just, it's really annoying because you can barely get into games or the game is really, really, really laggy. Like before this match, like when I wasn't recording, I was on two bar connection and everyone on the other team were on two bar just fluctuating up and down the connection bar. So that's really annoying. They should make it so they can handle the amount of people that are actually on the servers. And that's really frustrating. So by doing that on COD 4, it will be good. And also another thing I want to see in COD 4, hopefully, is maybe they should um put oh what you call it oh, i can't remember what i was gonna say um but what quad for they should uh put maybe different types or at least more attachments on the guns because there isn't as many there's like the main ones probably like fmj or suppressor really but if they add more different variants then that'll be amazing and another thing that they should do, but obviously they're not going to do it because they want to keep the game original as it can be. But if they added either more kill streaks, or they can choose 
the kill shit they want to use first. So what I mean is, if you have a UAV and a, in that game an airstrike, then instead of having to use the airstrike first, then the UAV, maybe you could choose. So that system came in place for Modern Warfare 3, I believe. So you could choose what you want to use. So I might want to use the UAV first, find out where they all are, and then use the airstrike. So that would be a good thing. Another thing would be to steal an idea from Modern Warfare 3 yet again, is to have a kill streaks or score streaks with different classes. So you might have a sniper class and you want to have a support kill streak on there. Or you might want to have a Russian class, so that might be with the MP5, I believe, or the. I can't remember the other one now. And just you want to have assault um, kill streaks like I'm running here, so I'm obviously going for the Lightning, Cerberus, and Wraith because I'm rushing around with the CUDA. But if I was camping or laid back with a sniper, then I would obviously want to support kill streaks and have the team. And that's something that I can't see them adding in on this uh, remastered edition but I'm just hoping that they don't make any major major differences to the game because the game is quality enough I mean there's nothing wrong with it it's just banging and look the purifier is just my best friend these guys think they could just lay back and chill but nope even though he's uh, psychosis I will find you and I will kill you but yeah, if they keep the game original, then that's just amazing. But there's a few things they could change, only little changes, but just gotta wait and see until the game comes out on 4th of November. But just remember, next Tuesday, guys, around 6 pm, as I said in a previous video, like it's right, Marty. Um, not that, but there will be a, re a trailer or maybe even a teaser from Infinity War themselves. So that's something you may have to stream online, I'm not sure. But anyway guys, that's me done and that's the COD4 uh, talk done. Shout out to my boy Sosa Bennett who's in this gameplay, you might hear his voice a little bit but he was kind of raging quiet so. 73 to 21, that's pretty decent I would say. But shout out to my boy Leon as well who's actually supporting me through all of this and sharing my videos and so on. So guys remember, rate, comment subscribe and also stay tuned for more videos see you around bye